Hi, welcome to Alcott Amster. Today we'll be taking a look at this Segogo Air mattress. Here's everything that came in the package. We got a dual use pump. I can use it with a cigarette power port or with the AC wall socket. I'll open this up shortly. Got the user manual here. Here are the full specs for it. and how to use it. Move this to the side. Here's the item itself. Just dump it out. And so we had two of these inflatable pillows. It's like plastic on the top with some type of felt cover on the bottom. Multi-zoned air mattress. I'll roll this out later. Let's first take a look at this pump. The instructions seem very straightforward. It's very similar to the, the, uh, the other pump I got from ShopRite. Just had this one can work with vehicle adapter or AC adapter. The unit is also lighter than the, the ShopRite one. A little bit smaller too. The deflate is up here. Inflate right here. Power buttons right over here. For each of the adapters, there's no locking mechanism. It's more just push and yep, that's it. If I need to use one of the other adapters, remove them. There's the pointy one. This is, I believe this will be used for the pillows. One's used for pillows. This will be used, the thicker one, this will be used for the air mattress. The cigarette power adapter's cord is about six feet in length. Now, earlier I mentioned that there's no, no locking mechanism. So it's always just push. And there's a downside to that. When it meets a lot of resistance, the unit just basically forces the adapter out. I'm just trying to push it in as much as I can and then turn the unit on. It's not really inflating because a lot of the air is escaping from the side since it's meeting too much resistance up here. I can always manually inflate it but that kind of defeats the purpose of having a pump. There's an auto block valve in there. Just tighten this up. Here's the second pillow. See how long it takes this one to inflate.
This one must took a little bit more than a minute to inflate. Push this down, lock it in place. This time I'm using the larger valve adapter. Inserting it here, Let's see how long it takes this to inflate. Say about 40 seconds to inflate. Let me close this up first. There are six different zones for this air mattress. One, two, one in the back over there, four, five, then six. So let me start inflating each of them separately. I've inflated those two first because over here I don't I have a um, my wheel well is on this side and this side so I'm I don't need to inflate these if I had like a minivan or a cargo van then I would inflate that to give myself more mattress surface area and this is the what is it, the two-thirds split let me flip this over my car is the Honda CRV so the passenger right is the smaller third, whereas the driver's side is the two-thirds. Perfectly matches this. If I was living on my SUV and I needed one side to be carrying cargo, I can just bring the seat down on one side and only inflate the mattress on that side. The mattress is able to hold my weight, um, not quite 200 pounds yet. And as for the length of the mattress, well, I am five foot eight-ish and my feet would be dangling from the side over there. Which is not bad. The most important part is my upper body at least is on the mattress, comfortable, supported. The pillow's nice too. Oh. <laughs> Hey! Here, take off your shoes! Oh. Hey! 
Hey. Hmm? That's cool. It is. So where we go camping. We go sleeping high. Yeah. It's just that only two people can. Well, let's see if Catherine can fit in here. Are you recording this? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty close to the door. Uh, it's okay. No, no, keep the door open. Ventilation. Hey, yeah. right, there's ventilation here. Oh. Not freezing. Okay, they close the door then. Then why'd you come out with a ja without a jacket? Okay. Hmm. I. Mm. This is comfortable. Where is it? Oh, I'm fine. Lie down, see if it's still comfortable. Oh, here comes the other. Okay, take off your uh, shoes. Marcus, scoot over. <laughs> scoot. You scoot over. Daddy, you scoot over. I, ju I just got here. I just got here. I didn't even get to lay down. And there's a, and this is the trap door so we can lay here while you're driving no. with a seatbelt. No, we can't. Lie down the seat Wait, let's safe. go and close something. Wait, close it, close it! No, not yet. Close. Oh, that other door? Yeah. Hey, what is that? Uh, that's more for, for cars. Okay. Marcus, come on, close it! Now close that. Now close this. <laughs> Close that. Okay. Oh, wait, I can. Do it. Are you sure? Here, don't. Plus, I've done this before. Watch your finger. Watch your left hand. Your right hand. Marcus, 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 Marcus. Marcus. I've done this before. Don't worry. Like, this is so. Oh, come on. I barely get any room. Okay, screw over. Uh huh. This is so comfortable. Pillow? No. I have another pillow. I just don't know where I put it in there. <laughs> Oops. Well, mm -hmm. how much do you think you weigh? I have no idea. Mm. You know, it's heavy enough I know for I'm Daddy. Very light. <laughs> and Daddy's very light, though. No, you're not. Both of your weight combined is is light is more than mine. No. No. <laughs> Plus your fatness, you are heavier. Don't say that in the video. Hey yo. <laughs> just say, just say that, okay. that that is very fully grown. Okay, just cut that. Just okay. cut that out. It's okay. okay. It's all right. So actually, lie, lie down, lie down properly. I want to see how. Okay. So my boy is nine years old, and his feet does not hang from the side. The daughter is now seven years old. Her feet does not hang from the side either. Well, just look at my feet. <laughs> Looks like the kids. Your kids, that's right. That means, Dad, hey, Daddy, you mind driving this car while we like rest over here? That does not sound safe. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, yeah. I mean, if it, you if you hit a bump, that not, you just bounce straight up in the air. No, no that's pretty common. The needle nose adapter to inflate the the pedals that was. Nah, it could have been designed better. The dabber could, could have either been thinner or, I don't know, okay. to have a locking mechanism so that when it for meets resistance, it's not going to try to push the adapter out. As for the speed, it's about the same. If I use a needle nose adapter from my other pumps to try and inflate the, the snow tubes, that also takes a minute. But as we saw, when I use this, the larger adapter to inflate the mattress, it inflated it fine. <laughs> Under like what, under thirty seconds? Oh. oh, don't do that, Catherine. Stop it! Now I, you have to get them. No, I can't get them. Right. So my weight okay, plus the kids' weight—that's a hmm, lot. A lot. Hey, Daddy, come closer. Mm -hmm. No, come don't closer. Throw it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I do like this item. It's able to support a few hundred pounds. Compact, easy to put away, store. Fairly easy to inflate if you don't count the needle nose and the, the pillow rest. And yeah, it's inexpensive. It's like less than $50. Now, this company did provide this unit for review. I'll place the link below. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.